weather's still not fantastic. Um, it's definitely a lot better than this morning. We've warmed up to about 20 degrees at the moment. It's still a bit windy, but we just found this little secluded spot. It's probably not really that well of a known beach. Um, it's called Boxing Bay. I sort of found a little point of interest on Wikicans and we're just stuck down here. We have actually been here not too long ago. Um, we come for a quick drive down and then realised how flat and calm it was. So we've just snuck back to camp. It's only about 15 minutes away to grab the paddle board. So we're just shooting back now. But uh, if we spin you around here, have a go at this place. So she's a real single track to get in here. Um, she's pretty rough. You, know, you can drive right down onto the beach. No camping. Um, there was a couple other people that were down here when we were out. That actually looks like a little sailboat out there. Yes. There you go. But anyway, we'll take you down onto the beach and show you around on this one. It is absolutely beautiful, really. You yeah, can't wait. So this is Caitlin's new little toy. This will keep her busy for the next 20 minutes trying to pump that up. We have actually got a solid state one as well, but with the tinny on the roof, we can't really take uh, both on top. I mean, we could have strapped it on top, but this is a lot easier to transport around. There she goes with the maiden voyage. She's up. The toy's blowing me up so fast. I can go through that way. You probably go over top a bit. You probably fit through there. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> there was a rock. You lied. <laughs> yeah, you're on the bottom. Yeah. You might have to walk it out a bit more. I can't stop. You might have to walk it out more. Got a fishing rod to go for on one hand, the dog in the other. Cody's finally made it out to some deeper water. She's not bottoming out on the rock. Chuck the little fella up on the board. She can cruise around out there while I flick a lure around and see if we can catch something to eat. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. He's decided he's had enough, he's jumped in. <laughs> hey buddy, did you want to go for a swim? Do you want to go for a swim? You make it to land? Can you go? Look at the tail go. Hey Willie! Good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. What do you reckon, love? She's not a bad spot, eh? Yeah, it's really nice. Probably crack a can and sit here for the rest of the hour. They're quite comfortably, I reckon. I don't think you need to go for another swim again. You're so covered in sand. Really? You go for a swim? Go for a swim? He wouldn't even go in after the other dog.
world's fastest melting ice cream. <laughs> Emu Bay Lavender Farm. I don't really know much about it, but they sell all sorts of soaps and linen sprays and things like that. It's an awesome little cafe. Just come sit down and have a coffee and a bit of cake. Your bloody phone's ringing. Your phone's ringing. This phone's oh, yeah. always bloody ringing. A bit of ice cream sitting between all the lavender. It's very nice. <laughs> Goodbye from Discovery Lagoon Holiday Park. Caribbean Absolutely park. fantastic park. We ended Facilities up. clean the whole time. We stayed here, I think it was four nights or five nights in total. Um, we thought it was a better time to move on, so we're going to make our way up to Western River Cove today. Try our luck at getting a campground there. Um, everywhere seems to be pretty packed out, so at this stage, that's the plan to go there. And thanks to our across the road neighbours, this one is fast asleep <laughs> with his head buried. We found another little family that they had a sausage dog as well, but they didn't have him with. They left him back home, so the kids have adopted him while we were here on the short little stay. Yeah. But anyway, we're on the road. We'll show you a bit of stuff along the way, and we'll um, yeah, we'll see what happens when we get to Middle River, Oop. Western River Cove. I mean. <laughs> A bit hard to pass up a photo opportunity here, eh dear? Yeah, that's really good. Just coming up the top of Snelling Beach. Have a go at that. Thanks, love. Literally. Holy dooly, that one's tight. Lucky ABS works. I know, right? Dial up the caravan brakes a little bit. Whoops. Oh, my God. There we go. This is a real back on itself, this one. Is that too tight? Am I going to be right? No, you'll be right. Oh, yeah. just arrived at our new camp spot. It's a cool little bridge over there. Where are we love? Western River Cove is this one. Yeah. I'm gonna do a quick one nighter. Um, give you a quick tour of the campground after it's not much. It's basically just a big gravel car park but it's a pretty cool little walk down to the beach. It's a good drive too. A good drive in like heaps of good views and um, yeah, really up and steep. through the mountains and stuff, it's really cool. It's super steep. There's little marble rocks everywhere. But we'll go for a bit of a wander down on the beach, probably spend the Arvo down there. We'll go for a little swim. Yeah. Check it out, mate. Check it out.
just heading down for a fish down at Western River Cove. Magic little spot, it's an awesome little freshwater river. You can imagine that this, like in the in the winter time, this would be flowing all the way out, all the way out to the ocean. I've got the little rod and the big rod with me. Probably not gonna catch anything, but might as well chuck a lure around and kill a bit of time this afternoon. Just gonna stand off the edge of the rocks. Oh, there we go. And the boat parked up. Have a bit of a swim. <laughs> oh mate, I was about ready to give up. I just about a thousand casts off the rock and nothing. One little flick off the beach, got a little floody. Let's get him back and see if we can catch something a bit bigger. Well, that's a good way to waste an arvo. Killed a bit of time, did about a thousand casts and got nothing off the rocks and a little saving grace. The one cast off the beach got the little floody. Unfortunately not big enough to eat, so I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow. All right, we'll take you up and we'll show you the campsite and see what Caitlin and Willie have been up to. I didn't even make it back, they've met me halfway. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I was coming to sit down here while you fish. Well, I'm on my way back. I didn't have much luck. Oh, now then. <laughs> you want to sit down here for a bit longer? I'm trying again tomorrow, I might sit down and... Well, we can't even watch the sunset because the sun's going down behind the hill. Well, you can up there. Anyway. Slowly making our way down towards Vivon Bay and sort of cutting across the middle at the moment and just come through one of the spots where the bushfires ripped through a couple of years ago. And it's just the way that the greenery flourishing. The way the greenery's coming back up the trees. It's pretty specky and it is absolutely dead quiet here. I'm just gonna take the camera over by the trees and then just leave it sit for a while and see if we can catch all the birds. Tonight we wanted to stay down in the Vivon Bay campground and check out some stuff down here, but well, everywhere is just absolutely packed. I think the council need to open up a few more spots. Um, the, tell you what, the road coming in here is just absolute rubbish. Shocking. This is probably the most corrugated road that we've gone on so far on the island. There's been some pretty average ones, but this one tops it by far. Right? So I don't know, we should sneak back out on the road and try and get a bit of phone reception again and I don't know where we can find somewhere to pull up for the night. Just swap drivers, I'm feeling a bit knackered. Yeah. But, uh, update. Um, we tried the Western KI Caravan Park. They said they had plenty of sites. Um, I said, oh, we've got a little dog with us. And they said, oh, no, sorry, no good. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, apparently that's the nicest park on the island as well. So the next closest spot to try and stay sort of within Vivon Bay area is actually back into the middle. Um, so I just phoned up the Pandana Hotel and they've got a little enough room out the back that we can stay out there for at least tonight, maybe a couple of nights, see what happens. And we'll just have to do some day trips in there just to finish off because everywhere else is absolutely packed. But I suppose that's what you get for coming peak holiday season. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll get going and I think we're gonna have tea at the pub tonight, I reckon. What do you, yeah, I'm looking, what do you think? I'm looking forward to a pub meal, to be honest. <laughs> tonight can just bloody. We should have ended up. We should have just stayed at Western River Cove where we were last night. It was actually yeah. a bit of a gravel pit, like just a car park, but it, it was, was actually good, a though. pretty nice spot. Heaps protected. Nice people. Nice people around, so. But anyway, we're off to the pub. Catch up.
This is how good today's going. Yay. Well, that's the quickest way to Pandana. We're not local traffic. And it's like another 17 k's along that road, so. I don't know. I'm not the sort of person to go through where you're probably not supposed to go. So we might have to try and find the long way to Pandana. Wherever that is. <laughs> Let's have a look on wiki cams again. Welcome to Pandana Pub Campground. There's not really a lot here. We're actually the only ones here. We've got little uh, amenities blocks over there that Caitlin's been over and had a look. She said there's showers in there, but um, yeah, we'll just do a quick one-nighter. I am not even going to bother to unlock the van tonight because I think we'll just do a quick one tonight, go and have a feed at the pub and then keep travelling along tomorrow. Chill out tonight and we'll try and find you another beach tomorrow. Ew. Ew. <laughs> See ya. Oh, it is the nervous trek back to the van. Nervous? We weren't allowed to have any pets at oh. the pub, so we left the dog in the caravan for an hour. Let's hope he didn't poop in the wee in there. He doesn't like being on his own at all. He gets real... Oh, oh no, he's heard us. He's barking away. We can hear him already. He can probably see we'll us. see what he's destroyed in there. Oh, he's doing a lot. Hmm. He's on my bed. He's really? Really? Where is he? Well, there he yeah. is. There's his head. What are you doing? <laughs> Ow. Hello, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's uh, not destroyed. What is it? Oh, hello, Willie. Oh, hello. Fine. Hello. Is it destroyed? Oh, you didn't destroy anything. Willie. Willie, Willie. Willie, Willie. Willie, Willie. Come in. Oh, ew. He's looking me. Right, right, where are you going? <laughs> Alrighty, well we finally made it after yesterday's debacle down to Vivon Bay. Just parked the van back up the top and this place looks pretty incredible. Um, I think we have actually been here before like most places but that water, whew, that looks very inviting. So I've got my flippers and my, and my mask ready to go. We're just going to wander down to the jetty and some stairs down off the side of the jetty and I'm going to go for a bit of a swim around and see what's in the water.
up nice and early this morning. It's the first time I've been up this early in a long time. We're sort of getting used to getting up around 7, 7.30, but I thought I'd get up at five this morning and wander down to Pennington Bay. Have a go at this. So I've got the U parked up in the car park and I'm just gonna wander down, probably set up another camera on a time lapse and just watch the sunrise come up, just up the back of the headland. Soak it all in, mate. Take two getting out there, so we're just throwing the tinny off the roof, just straight into the water without the trailer. And we got all the way out to the first spot. A couple of locals just pointed us out where to go, dropped the anchor, <laughs> and I realised I forgot the bait. So we just done a little dash back in, and we're just slowly cruising over the sandbar, getting deep enough to power out there. But luckily, I forgot the bait because I forgot the beer as well. So now we're stopped and ready to go. We'll see you out there. Bloody idiot. Tommies! Hey! Wait, what do you got there, love? First drop, couple of little Tommies. Philly, they're not your food. <laughs> Alright. She just said, don't have a good feeling about this spot, and bam, mm. double header. Does Willie look terrified? What? So today's fishing mission, we went out without the trailer, so we just dropped it straight off the back of the ute, been able to drive down on the beach. So I'm going to show you quickly how we uh, get it back up. I've got a little bucket of fresh water um, just filled up out of the tank in the front of the ute, so I just splash a little bit on there, because that's the only downside, is throwing it straight out of the ocean on top of the ute, you get a little bit of salt water on the top. So we'll try and reduce that as much as we can. We'll get this hooked up. So this winch, a bit of a crack. It was an e only an eBay special, but she's got a, for wireless remote, which makes things bloody handy. Just hook the winch rope around the front seat. Let this thing do all the hard work for you. Lean on the back, and then we're just giving a bit of a splash. Not that it's going to do much, but.
pretty much as far as you can winch it. It's not really that heavy from here. You can just sort of just shuffle it the rest of the way forward. It just lies on top of the racks. And then just tighten the winch back up when it's in position so it shouldn't flap around. Tie it down, off we go. That's pretty much it. There you go. Nice. making friends again, waiting for the ferry. <laughs> So a 45 minute ferry ride back to the mainland. We've got a very restless doggo. There's another couple of dogs up here as well. He's pretty keen to go and hang out with. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that trip guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested to see more, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Woo! Woo! Testing, can you see this? Hopefully not. It's only a little bit fresh. Come on, love. In you get. No, nah, you'll be right. I can't do it. Can't do a bomb. <laughs> do a silly. Now functional spider whip fuse. You are a bomb. You want to roll off. <laughs> Willie! Willie, wake up! Come! Go, 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 go! Go, go! Cutie booty! Probably needed to delete this one. Oh, no! Come on. My husband has serious issues. Cannot hold his blender for like two seconds. This is probably the 17th time. <laughs> <laughs> Always needing to take a wee, I'm telling you. Always. Where are we stopped in now, love? Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm gonna pick up a hitchhiker. He's gonna pick me up. What a doll. <laughs> no, he's just gonna drive past me, he's so rude. <laughs> Anything for the shop, baby. <laughs> Check him out. Say it with a bit more passion. Check him out! No, you'd just be like. 